Hear me out for a second. Paying your dues is a myth. And that's just the nice way of saying it. What it really is, is a lie. What's up? My name is Melanie Angel, and this is my life. Welcome to my vlog. Okay, here we go. Harsh reality of the music industry. Paying your dues is a myth because you can literally get a record deal as soon as you start and become a huge star at 15 or 16 years old without ever paying your dues. So that's a myth. Next, if you work hard and you're talented, you'll eventually make it. That's also a lie. That's not actually true. I know some of the most talented, hardworking people that the world has never seen. So that is definitely not a true thing either. Here's the harsh reality of the entertainment industry as a whole, whether you're a musician or an actor or a filmmaker or a writer or a producer, whatever. If you're in the entertainment industry, it is 100% who you know. And you know, people can argue with me in the comment section if you would like, but this is the reality. And I know that's hard to hear. Now, why am I saying all this? Why am I even bringing up this topic? Because I'm, I think I'm tired of people lying about the industry, trying to make it seem like there's some specific things that you can do in order to make it. There, there's no such thing, there's no such formula because the, the truth of the matter is you don't know who you're gonna meet tomorrow. That next person that you meet might be the person that pushes you through to your next level. And you just don't know, but all you can do, that's when the consistency, that's when the hard work comes into play for me. But the only thing that is going to get you to where you ultimately wanna go is who you no, and have that person not be a piece of trash. That is really hard. And when I say a piece of trash, I'm talking about the people that they have all the connections in the world, but they want to sign you and completely steal all your money. Whoa! Meeting the right people. Now you have to meet a good person that's connected. And when I tell you that is probably the most difficult thing. I mean, that's probably the hardest part of this entire thing is meeting somebody that can help you, that doesn't want to destroy you as a human being and control you and, <laughs> and own your publishing. So. Now listen, I don't want this to be a video that's like a downer, but it's meant to be honest and truthful. And I think that if somebody really cares about you, really cares about what you're trying to do, they would at least have the decency to tell you the truth about the industry that you're either about to dedicate your life to or you already have dedicated your life to. Tell people the truth of the situation they're in because I know a lot of people and nobody really talks about this. Like you watch these these shows like, you know, American Idol and The Voice and nobody talks about what happens to these people after they go on these shows, after they try their best and they don't get what they're trying to get out of it. A lot of bad things happen to musicians and artists in general mentally, like their mental health um, takes a mighty toll. And I've had friends commit suicide. I've had friends uh, that are stuck on drugs that have been, um, you know, pimped out by uh, terrible, like low life producers and, you know, all kind of terrible stuff has happened to a lot of people in this industry. And I just think that if they would have known even a fraction of what they were getting themselves into, that some of this peril could have been avoided. So I've decided to turn this channel into more of a truth-telling service about the music industry and, um, and the entertainment industry as a whole because I do some acting, um, but that's what this is gonna be about. Real life ways 
to navigate through this this industry and and also you know just teach you everything that i know about music production uh, about guitar um, stuff like equipment pedal boards uh, whatever i'm doing just whatever i can do to make you see this industry for what it is not what it looks like on tv and uh on instagram this weekend i had two shows um on the same day it was really tough because they were far away from each other and i'm gonna show you some clips of that yeah i'm gonna show you some clips enjoy the clips <laughs> Crossroads Blues Festival. Yeah. I'm about to set up. Uh, the yes. stage is behind me right here. And uh, we're about to set up. I have two shows today, so gonna be doing a lot of running around. But we're gonna make it work. We're gonna do what we gotta do. Let's check in and see. Um, we're about to set up. Here's Jeremiah on the bass. We got Quinton on the drums today. Mama, she's here merch. representing for the merch table. We ain't got time for none of that today. <laughs> we really don't. We really don't. I ain't even taking nothing out of the car. We're taking the... <laughs> Is it? We in and we out because I got to get all the way back. We're in Rockford. We got to get all the way back to Bronzeville. And uh, so, yeah.
made it to the next show. We did. It's the show number two. And uh, we at the, the Muddy Waters house. Yeah. It's a dope place and just fortunate to be here. And we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna do a little quick set. Let's it's gonna be it. fun. Let's I know there's a lot of talking in this video, but hopefully also there was some good clips of music. Um, I'll see you in the next video. I love y'all. Be good to each other. Peace.